a one. We are, we are gold ball hunting. I'm Brent Abel, that dude right there, Jeff Jacklich. Jeffrey, yeah. what's going on this morning? You're, I mean, I can hear the freight train coming down the hill, coming down the track, and it's, it's coming down fast, and it's out of control. Yes. And I'm talking about Sunday. You take off. <laughs> it's out of Sunday. control. It is out of control. As we record this, you've got, what, a couple, two or three days left before you go to Pontiac, Michigan, to embark on a new, a new yeah. adventure, a new journey with the uh, Wesson Lawn Tennis Club yeah. as, their, as their head dude there. Yeah. So, uh, got to be exciting, but it gotta, gotta, also got to be a little, crap, have I got everything done kind of well, thing? Well, yeah, I, I, I've already acquiesced to the fact that I know I won't get it all done. <laughs> and now it's just a matter of going, going down the list and going, man, not going to happen, eh, not going to happen, <laughs> eh, not going to happen, and just get it off the list rather right. than, you know, punish myself saying, oh, you know. Um, <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not going to happen. Uh -huh. Um I, I've basically taken care of the like some of the major things, you know, car getting tuned and blah blah blah. New time. I mean, some of the mechanical things that need to be shored up before I take off, you know, so that everything's operational here in Napa cool. and, and cool. continues to stay that way. Yeah, good. That's good. Well, that's cool. Yeah, well, um, listen, um, uh, I, I I know you SFO to Detroit on on Sunday, and um, you'll have what a week or two to kind of settle in. Yeah, like two and a half weeks you know, yeah. before. So uh, Memorial Weekend will be opening weekend, so it gives me some time to uh, get acquainted with the uh, the grounds guys yeah. and um, kind of learn the you know the the everyday grass procedures and all that because that's I got to learn all that. I'm sure. familiar with it, but I'm going to have to learn the actual like step by step process, all that. Um, you know, I'm going to be a uh, you know a, a a grass specialist now, you know. Right. That's cool. <laughs> like that's cool. Well, that's uh, well. Listen, congratulations. This is gonna be a lot of fun, Thank you. and and I'm yeah, looking forward to, you know, banging out some of these episodes uh, where you're no longer in Napa and complaining about the weather every morning, but where you're actually well, in Michigan. Well, yeah. Well, now actually, you know, as of this recording today, you uh, know, they've the last week in Michigan, they've had these torrential rains, and no. so there's actually flooding going on around <laughs> yeah. Detroit. You know, so I had to I had to text this morning to find out of like. How's the club and everything's fine there, you know, no problems. But literally, I'm like, there's like reading headlines, flooding in, you know, in Michigan. Right. Uh, I'm thinking, oh god, that's yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, I get to hunker down to Michigan. Is it um, me? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know. Uh, so well, anyway, I'm I'm, um, I'm sure it'll work out. So. I'm, I'm uh, just keeping a positive attitude, and we're gonna go. It's gonna be a blast. I mean, I, I'm, you know, in in all seriousness, I'm I'm not worried about the current rain situation. It's gonna be a blast. I'm looking forward to meeting all the new members. I'm getting texts and some emails from good. some of the new members welcoming me in and looking forward to meeting me. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited about getting. Uh, well, getting and they'll in there all and, be going. God, I didn't know we hired Andre Agassi. Yeah, that guy. What? <laughs> What you told us, Jeff Jack was come on, man. You, you got Andre, awesome. So, all right. Well, listen, guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today, uh, Gold Ball Hunting. And uh, before we get into today's topic, which is a little technique um, thing that I've been working on that uh, I want to kind of I want to chat about with you. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, guys, if you uh, want to get on a free private coaching call with me and Jeff. The way to do that, it's a 10 minute uh, call again, free and private. You got to bring one thing, that one thing right now that's kind of, yep. kind of stuck. You're kind of stuck on that. If you could solve that, it <clears throat> might uh, just might get you to start playing at the top of your level on a consistent basis. Uh, it's again, a private call. It's just the three of us, uh, a, a little conference call. And the way to get on that call, go over to goldballhunting.com, put in a first name and email address, click the the button there and you'll get uh, access to our online calendar scheduler where you can pick the perfect date and time that yes. works for you and um and we'll uh, we'll help you solve that problem so yeah. uh jeff here's what i've been working on lately and you know my forehand is uh not only a work in progress, it's a, how do you say, a labor of love. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a thing 
that um, it's funny because the rest of my game is completely thoughtless. I mean, it's just like right. it's right. so locked in. And yet I still like to drill and, and work on, on the feels of the serve and the back end and all these different kinds of things. But uh, the forehand ground is, has, been, uh, has been my kryptonite. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, not that right. I'm not that I'm Superman, or I think I'm Superman, but it's it's that thing. Yeah, that thing. It's that thing, and um, we, and we so gotta get a G, we, we got to get a GPS on it. So when it when it when it leaves, that you, at least you can get on your phone app and find it. Right, find where, it, where yeah. did it go? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically trying to corral it the whole time. So, um, and and basically for me, when I when I stop thinking that it's 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 not great, and 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 it, and consider all things being equal. Uh, geez, you you've won a few national titles and and blah blah blah. It can't be that bad. So let's not worry about it too much. Right. Um, but there's 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 one thing in particular I know when when I struggle with it, and it's uh, I, I just bring too much grip tension to right. to the racket handle, and. Mostly that's because of my perception of the match. I'm in this match, and either I think I'm playing against a playing against a guy or a team where look, we should be beating these guys ten out of ten times, never losing a set. And sometimes that works its way into, well, I can't miss this forehand. Right. And you get real <laughs> right. tight on it. Uh, or you're playing at the other end of the spectrum, someone maybe who you've never beat before. Right. Um, and, and your perception is, well, I got to do more. And for me, when I think about doing more, I don't naturally just loosen up and let it go. I get a little strong, a little grippy, right. a little, a little tight on that grip. So what I'm working on is, is really relaxing the grip tension. And what I find when I do that is the racket head naturally has a tendency to drop below uh, just you know, as it as it goes through its circle behind you, kind of get down below the eventual contact point, so right. that you've actually got you've you've actually got a setup for for you know some some standard spin, as opposed to being too grippy, and now you're, um, and now you're sort of starting the swing path at the ball at the same right. height of contact. So. Do you find that in players, or do you teach that in terms of relaxing grip tension, relaxing grip pressure, to help, um, to kind of help, just just to improve the quality of the spin and all that? Absolutely, it's um, it's you know the the body wants to work a certain way, right? And so naturally, if you toss somebody a ball, they just whether they're, whether they're highly coordinated or not. I mean, nine times out of ten, the person just puts their hand out and they catch the ball. And they, they're just very stable. It's just like I'm standing here. Let me just toss a ball at you. And they just catch it. And it's like, okay. So if the ball is coming at you and we've worked on this technique or swing path, can you can you just allow that, that process, right, to um, kind of unfold? So when it comes to, you know, the swing path beforehand, I think there's a lot less – um, swing path that's that's kind of let's say the classic term low to high. I think there's much less of that in the actual swing than there is just the, the like as you've described the hand being relaxed. I mean we can talk about lag and all that kind of thing, but without getting into that because there's you can we can even like break that down into micro bits and, and be overly overly you know diagnose that. Um, I just think there's a there's a the swing path is so much more, I think, linear, but, but in that softness of the hand, that's what actually drops underneath the, the plane of the ball. And then, but not necessarily your hand. It's just the fact that the racket weight now, you're allowing, to, you're allowing yourself to feel the weight of the racket in your hand. Right. You, don't feel, you don't feel that when you're white knuckling the racket. You know, and so. It, it takes a little bit of doing and, and, you know, ball machine feeding and that to kind of understand what's the reaction of the ball off the strings and where's, where is that 
too less grip tension, and this is too much. There's there's middle ground for everybody. Right, right. You know, um, well, I find too that if I do relax my grip tension, that I do get, I get more of my body, um, right, sort of rotating in against the ball, and it kind of makes sense because if 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 you're using if you're using sort of the bigger muscles or the and th then it feels like well the ball now is like it's 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 rebounding off a backboard or something as opposed to if you're really gripping on the racket right it it's this tiny little sweet spot that right and uh, you know I don't care how big the racket is how big the racket head is if you if you have too much grip tension that just it just is reduces the sweet spot down to almost yeah, nothing. I, I, I describe it as, as it, it's, it's like blunt force trauma on the strings. You, you, never, you never feel like you've taken the ball onto the strings and then imparted what you wanted to do to the ball, whether it was change the height of the ball, uh, accelerate more spin or hit it flatter, or, you know, whatever it is you were attempting to, you know, your intention was to do the ball. When, when your grip tension is so tight, it said you're never actually you're never actually getting grabbing the ball on your strings and doing to it what you want to do. What you end up doing is I'm going to use your word though and use it differently. The ball simply just rebounds off the strings, right? So I, I really don't I don't use that word in terms of the way I like to when I'm feeling like and I'm describing it to a student like you're going to feel like the racket phase kind of almost like wraps itself around the ball when you've got lighter it feels like you're grabbing the ball and literally like throwing it where you want it to go it has yeah. that kind of to me anyway that's just the way i describe it it has that feel to it that that the ball now is actually on my strings and now i can let it go yeah as, as opposed to tight string tension and the ball just just doing this just rebounding off the strings and i never actually got a hold of it yeah yeah right yeah no it's well, that's good. That's good. I find on the return to serve as well that um, if I have a more relaxed grip tension in my ready position, don't know if they're serving to my right or to my left, but as soon as the ball is served to my right, to my forehand, if that, if that grip tension is relaxed, is now I have a chance to actually drive the ball. Whereas before, I get out here, if there's too much grip tension, it's just right. a... It's a, it's a chip, and sometimes the chip is the right one. I'm not saying that it's, it's the wrong one. Right. But I'm just saying if you turn out of, your, out of that ready position when they serve to your right, to your forehand, and you've got a relaxed grip tension, I think you make better choices. I think Without I, a doubt. It, it, ten, ten, yeah. Ten, ten, tension, tension creates stress. Yeah. Yeah. And, and stress creates tension. So it's, it's like this, you know, and, and which, which comes first, it just kind of depends on the moment, right? Right. So, you know, when we, when we worked, you know, when, when you came back from, you know, up, up from Berkeley after, you know, I videoed you and we, and we took a look at your forehand and that, you know, it was really about creating that framework so that your hands, you know, when you use your core as the first element to actually start to turn to get your shoulders around, your hands don't, there's no, there's nothing required of your hands in the racket. And so sometimes I'll describe it like this to a student, like when they make their turn, I go, you know, I go, at most, and this is for club players, at most that racket weighs 12 ounces, strung, right? Most rackets now, club player rackets, most are using 10.1, no, 10.1 to 10.6 probably is That's what, right. and, and now add half an ounce or so, maybe a little more for string, right? And they're really hovering probably at 11.6, between 11 and 11.6 probably total weight, right? So anyway, I kind of I, I kind of grab onto 12 ounces because I it, it it translates. I go okay, so if I put a 12 ounce beer in your hand, I don't know. I've handed you a beer before, Brenny, and you don't like white knuckle it you take it and so it doesn't take it doesn't take every muscle in your hand or arm or or shoulder or bicep it doesn't take every muscle firing to make sure while you're drinking that beer you're quite relaxed yeah. and when you set it down yeah. set it down on the table i know this sounds silly right like where's he going with this and when you set it down on the table you're actually controlling that tension to not heavy hand it right yeah so, so the racket is in your hand and you've made this turn. Well, it, it, you know, how much tension would you have in your hand if you were holding onto a beer and made the same turn or holding onto a glass of wine and made the same turn? Like, yeah. 
hardly any. Right, right. Right. So sometimes that's a way I can I can get them to kind of understand the concept. Like, listen, just because you put this piece of equipment in your hand, you know, don't don't grip it like, you know, like you're like you're going to beat the ball to death. You know, it's your it's, it's like, you know, I don't know how to describe that, but like they grip it like I've got this racket. I'm supposed to do something with it. And it's like, oh, listen, maybe. Well, you know, it used to be, though, the the, the one of the, the older teaching cli cliches was, you know, you got to firm up your grip at contact. Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. What, yeah. Like, yeah. Manually do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like, wow. Or yeah, you need to have a firm wrist. Yeah. Wow. You okay. Know, yeah. So, I mean, all those things, I think create these images in players minds that this is a this is a strength thing this is a strength thing and and um so well listen uh that's 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 good stuff jeff i just want one i'll, I'll run throw that. one I'll, i'm gonna throw one more thing yeah. at you here that is uh you know we played um you know about whatever it was three weeks ago down at btc with yeah. uh doug and um wendell wendell um, you know, in the first couple games I returned, you know, like, like we talked about, I, I don't think I put a return in play. Right. And I was like, I was tension. I was trying to do a lot. I wanted to like inflict a whole lot of pain on the return. And finally I just, I'm like, gosh, you know, in return to service, like I, I spent so many hours training that that became like my thing. I was like, no, 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 let's, let's go. I want to, I'm going to challenge you with what I can do with the return. Right. It, it's, it's something that I do. I've always done well. And it's something I love to do, right? So when I'm out of my little element there, and I, my mind has like grabbed me, and like I'm now I'm trying to do too much. I have I have to come back to trust that you're going to square the racket, get the hell out of the way. And so like we talked about, I just said, you know, just hit it back to Doug. And 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 I just allowed myself that freedom. I go I go in my head. I'm kind of going, listen, remember, you were born to hit returns. It, it it's what you do. And so I just a couple little affirmations like that, and then all of a sudden there's the first return back to Doug, and everything's fine again, you know. But beyond that, if you if you give yourself the freedom and the grace to go ahead and keep, hit a few returns out, like not worry about it as long. What did it feel like? You know, I, I I had I get good swing freedom. It wasn't a wild swing. I hit a good return. Okay, it was a foot wide, but you know what? That's where I want to be. It was good. I feel the ball in the strings. Blah blah blah. And you have to keep pushing toward that, you know, that feel, and you'll get there eventually. It may not be the first set, but you know what? By the time the second set rolls around, maybe you've, you're finally dialed in. And yeah. now, okay, it's going to go three sets, but okay, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, it's, Cause that's that, good. That's, that's where you're going to hit your most effective. Yeah, we're, we're kind of breaking up here. Um, you, <laughs> wait, hold on. Let's see if we can stop the buffering and reconnect here. The ball, there you know, catch the ball, whatever. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. I mean, you will naturally square the racket, um, um, you know, if you get out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I, I think I think the bottom line, guys, is to make sure that, especially on your forehand, that you're not you're not over gripping. You don't have too much grip tension, and and yeah. and it really, I mean, too much grip tension disrupts the the tempo of the swing. It disrupts uh, all kind, of, which which really gets in the way of, of uh, consistent timing, making sure that you're making contact at that ideal sp spot that's right for you. So get out there and in your warm ups, just check your grip tension, and just be aware of it. It may be fine. I'm not saying it's wrong. It may be fine, but just sort of be right. aware of it. And if you find that your your forehands, for example, are landing short, then the chances are pretty good that um, you're really a little bit too too grippy on that handle. Right. Um, so, uh, guys, with that said, just a quick reminder on the free coaching call. It is private. It's just the three of us, you, me, and Jeff. And uh, we're going to help you solve that one thing you got going on with your game right now that uh, that we want to help you push through to the next to the next universe. I don't know what it is, whatever it might be. <laughs> Uh, so the way to get in that call, go over to goldballhunting.com, first name, email address, uh, click the button, and you get access to our online calendar scheduler. Jeffrey, with that said, yeah. what, what do we want the fine folks to to help us out with right now? Love to have them like us, yeah. share us, please subscribe, hmm. let us know what you think down below. Okay, guys, get out there today, wherever that may be for you. Help someone else have a spectacular day. 
we're definitely going to do this again tomorrow. I definitely can't wait.